Mm, 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 mm. Hey, what is going on, Leo? I am so excited. We are here the second month of 2022. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a love tarot for the month of February. So let's dig in. Let's get into it really quick. My name is Kamala Hurley. I am a psychic medium and you might know me from TikTok where I go live Monday to Friday from 8.30 PM until whenever. If you are new to my channel, then go ahead and click and subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications on more videos, uh, tarot, manifestation, how to develop your own intuition, how to become a psychic medium, things like that. Uh, when you click that subscribe and you ring the bell, that's how you start to stay connected on those. Uh, that's how you start to stay connected. So I'm already starting in on this reading. Let's do it. I see that right now, Leo, you are starting off with less than a celebratory mood. This is the three of cups. And it just seems to me like you have been struggling in relationships. It has been a struggle. Like you're not feeling high vibes. It's sort of like me. And for some of you, actually, it's been very tumultuous. And there is a, I think that you finally got to the point where you're like, I can't do this relationship alone. I can't be the only one that is fighting for a relationship. It's not fair to me. And you have taken the bundle and you have taken the responsibility of that relationship. And you said, that's it. This is... It's meant to be 50-50 and you're not showing up. So since you're not showing up, I'm just breaking down and it's over. It might have been a very fast affair for some of you because this is the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which means that he probably, okay, or she or non-binary, whatever pronouns you want to use, the Knight came in and was like flash, like passion. It was like a really great maybe rev to the engine in your love life. But at the same time, it left just as fast as it came. That's for some of you, you know, for some of this, for some of you guys, this will resonate, but for other people, maybe, maybe it's just, you know, feeling challenged in every, every different direction that you are headed. Like maybe you're feeling challenged in your finances and career, your relationship, your love life just isn't on point. And as a result, you're like, you know what? I just like, I just feel like I am lost right now. Uh, this is the moon card reversed. As you can see, normally it would be such a, a beautiful romantic, like, aspiration to experience in your love life, but it's reversed. And you're sort of like, I just feel like I don't believe in love. I just feel like I'm so over, uh, believing in it. Let's keep going because you know, I'm not here to tell you that that's right. I, I want you to understand that when you hit those voids, when you get into the valley and you're stuck in the darkness, that's when you are going to be making intense transformation because nobody's meant to stay in that area and that emotional place forever. And it's beautiful. The next card that I pulled is a strength card because you have the strength to pull yourself out of places that are dark and heavy. You're a Leo. I mean, for Pete's sake, look at this. Look at the lion. Okay. This is a, like a sculpture, but I just want you to understand that like you, one of the beautiful things about Leo is the strength that you have, the conviction that you have. You always know if a Leo is passionate because you'll feel it, you'll see it. You'll you like literally in every way, every scent, like, you know, you hear the Leo, you can probably even smell the Leo. You see it. You, it's, you know, you can even taste it. It's just, Leos are just strong power. It's a strong and powerful sign. And as you start to tap into your strength, you start to feel the passion returning. And this is the page of page of cups. And honestly, this passion, you see one of the cups is broken, just really reflects this recent past of a relationship that just hasn't been going smoothly or didn't work out. But understand that strength will give you the courage to continue to allow the story and the narrative of your life to unfold. It'll The strength that you need here is to let, allow more time to pass so that the universe can start to bring in that love. That's just the start of you understanding that maybe love is a possibility for you. Let me keep going. Let me keep pulling cards here. Okay. Wow. A lot. Yes, indeed. 
So because you had the courage to believe in love, even though you hadn't specifically found somebody, uh, the wheel of fortune, this is the universe is going to give you a gift by bringing good fortune to you. There will be, the wheel will start to change in your life. If you feel like you had just been uh, in a timeless void, very much like the moon card reversed, I want you to understand things are going to start moving forward and it's for the better. It is, this is like, a, this is the universe giving you some luck and helping you confidently move forward. Beautiful last card that I'm going to pull from the tarot. Look at that nine of pentacles. This is this right next to the wheel of fortune. Okay. These two cards together. It literally makes me uh, think of how it takes time for the universe to literally catch up. Like you, when you do a manifestation and when you start to manifest love into your life, you have to ask the universe, you have to know it in your mind. You have to feel it in your heart. And as you work at that manifestation of bringing uh, like a deep soul connected twin flame into your life, you have to realize it takes time for the universe to catch up. Like it takes time for this Ferris wheel to do a complete revolution. Well, understand as that Ferris wheel starts to move again, it takes time to be able to get where you're at to where you want to go. Mm, I've never read that card quite like that. Beautiful. I really like it. And it's for the sake of a deeply connected relationship. Uh, there is, you're going to feel accomplishment that you had the strength to choose your core values, um, that you will have the strength to, that you have the strength of just like believing in your manifestation, that you have strength in believing in the universe, bringing you something better. And that's what it, this is. I mean, this is like a beautiful, connected, intimate, casual, like just, they just are at ease with one another. And you see the beautiful, bright sunlight. This is like the universe shining down on this, this relationship. So the message that I have for you for the month of February is that you just need to keep your courage and keep convicted in love. Understand that it takes time for the universe to catch up with your desires but that once you are patient and you understand that you're, the universe is listening and, and going to bring something radically different into your life, they're going to be bringing in this um, nine of pentacles, this, this love that's very real in the physical. I, I just see as like, I mean, it's like a, it's like a wish come true. It's literally a wish come true. I just, I mean, if you could see, look how they're smiling and just staring at each other. And maybe you just need a big green hat like that. <laughs> okay, let me pull out some Oracle cards to see what the Oracle cards have to say. First one, right off the hop, I see that getting involved in community is a great way to feel strength within um, everything that you're doing. I just think that community, whether it's online or it's physical, is important to support you when you are in those challenging times. So finding somebody that you can talk to, um, also just getting connected to nature and understanding that miracles like this is, I mean, this feels like a miracle. You have this rainbow that's like shooting through the forest, magical butterflies. Just understand that, you know, the universe is not, it, it's, there is magic in this universe and that you don't understand everything that's happening or unfolding in your life. So very similar to look at how the, the light is very similar to that nine of, uh, Pentacles card. It's very similar to this Knight of Pentacles, right? See, they, they're they kind of like, look, they're in a community setting. They're hanging out with other art lovers or touring the, um, you know, the, I don't know, Basilica or what a cathedral it looks almost religious, right? Yeah. Or whatever. They're just, they're doing things. So getting out into your community too, I think is a, an important piece for helping you discover, let's say a new love if you're single. Or if you are in a committed relationship, getting out into community, doing things like going to see the Van Gogh exhibit or the Monet exhibit or going to an art museum, doing something outside of what you normally do could really support growth um, and, you know, and help foster more love into your life. Uh, I do have a couple more cards. Let me keep going. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. All right. 
So the card that fell all the way down to the ground is the card of release. So just take things that just no longer serve you, like the hardships that you went through and, and just let it go like a leaf from a tree. And once that leaf is gone, you don't need to sit and talk about it for hours. I want you to stay focused on that journey ahead, which is like embracing. Okay. You see how it says embracing, embracing change. That's what you need to do is embrace change. Don't stay stuck in the past. Embrace the change. Be good. Be at peace with everything that is happening in your environment. You know, jump onto the magical hot air balloon and get ready to be lifted out of current circumstances into a place of delight. So things will be getting better for you. I think that the message here clearly, clearly the message here is that continue to release uh, everything that's not serving you, do the shadow work, do the inner work, allow yourself to release so that you can start to experience more delight in your life. And this delight requires uh, you to embrace change. So that's what I have for you, Leo, for the month of February is embracing change and tapping into your strength in order to love yourself more, in order to have more uh, deeply connected, loving, sensual, um, you know, uh, connected relationships. So I would love to see you on TikTok. And I go live Monday through Friday, 8.30 p.m. I do mediumship readings. I do tarot readings. Uh, if not, just join me here on YouTube where I will be uploading a lot more content. I'm excited I got this video done. So I will see you in my very next one. Have a beautiful month, Leo. <laughs> Yay.